Alright, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Ficus Philippensis. But the last time I tried to get some good pictures in when it had like plenty of fruit on it like it does now, I wound up waiting like a day or two too long and all the fruit just like fell right off of it. I think it is when it's looking its best, when it's got all the little tiny figs on there. They start out being really lime green, almost like a uh, mid-aged leaf if you will or whatever. Kind of hard to see. And then eventually, within the next few days, they will get a little more orange. But even now, I'll show you, these are just falling right off. Actually, we had a storm yesterday and a bunch fell off. So right as they're turning orange, they just kind of get to where they just fall off. So I figured while it was in this state here, and after showing off that fruit, I went ahead and gave it a little haircut there. Took off a lot more than I thought I would. And we'll go ahead and just see how it responds to that. All right, and I made that first part of the video back in June with the idea of just kind of showing off the, the fruit or cinchona. But here it is again, getting nice showy fruits again. I actually, you know, when I made that video, I was kind of thinking that, I was kind of thinking that I'd let, I'd let it go through the summer. I mean, that was June and here we are at the end of October. I was thinking I'd let it go through the summer and get all kind of wild and crazy like it usually does through the summer. And then I'd come, you know, maybe a month or two ago and, but it seems, you know, the only thing I've really cut back much on is I've, I have been kind of taming the apex a little bit. And it seems that when I do that, all that really happens is it just pushes out a bunch of fruit. And it is, it is a ton of them. And right now, this is actually, I don't usually even make videos too much on weekdays, but it is right at they turn, they start out green and then they turn kind of yellowish. And right around that time, they just start falling off. Take these guy wires off for the time being. This was one of the first pieces of uh, pre-bonsai material I ever bought. You know, I realized some mistakes I made along the way. I mean, I think it looks pretty nice getting a nice thick trunk. But I picked this for the front. So it had the aerial root kind of coming down there and then here as well. But now, sometimes when I'm looking at it, I rotate it around out in the yard. And every now and again, I come up with like different angles. And then not only that, once I do go to repot it, it does have a much more interesting trunk coming that way. But I think for the time being, I still am going to just think of this as being the front. I insisted on saving, like, you know, this branch here. I did the wedge cut and got it down a little bit. And a long time ago, I either probably should have thought about eliminating it or doing a little more work to even get the, get the, get the edge down here a little more. And the past few times I've worked it, I've always tried to leave just as much foliage as I can out here on the ends. Not necessarily just on the ends, but on these lower branches. Just trying to allow them to kind of continue to thicken up. I try to get a little more aggressive with these branches than I usually do. Alright.
this branch kind of coming up too far, I can definitely take care of with guy wires. This one I'm going to have to, I think I'm even going to experiment with something here in the middle with this one. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work out. Uh, you know, I found some conflicting information on the, the Philippinensis in that, uh, you know, that it's related to a, a Benjamin. And then, of course, like a Benjamin never really likes to have itself completely defoliated. Sometimes it won't come back. So that's another reason why I never really take all of the foliage off of, you know, these lower branches. But now that I'm up here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and probably not necessarily defoliate the whole thing, but just cut it way back. And since it is in the apex and these are very apical, it should shoot right on up there. And I mean, if it should die back from the top down, I can always just pick a new apex. So I don't think it'll be a huge mistake. All right, well that's the apex, and I was just kind of looking at it, all things considered, that make a nice little tree there, all on its own. You guys can get a get a look at the trunk area a little bit better like that. But as I got to pruning, I just kind of realized that with this much growth up here, and with that being the apex, I'm sure I could. Go ahead and defoliate the whole thing. Also gave me some great ideas. You know, I've, I've never been able to get one of these cuttings to go, so I wound up, I wound up buying another one, another starter one that was actually a little bit smaller than this one, but uh, it was a twenty-five dollar tree, and I got some ideas on what I might be able to do with that now that I can see just how much you might be able to ramify the apex. But I was checking it out, and this this piece right here comes right underneath that. And I was thinking about taking that off, but then that might be leave a little bit too much distance on that trunk there. And, and then one part of me almost decided I was going to take the whole this whole part off from here, from here up. But I think what I'm going to do is just take this part off, and then just a couple little crossing branches up here. Wasn't for that huge scar there and this aerial root here, I'd consider almost even trying to air layer that off, make a tree out of it. All right, so I was playing around with the guy wires here. I was even considering trying to take this branch here and do a little uh, a wedge cut. That's how I actually got the, this part even down as it was. This part really was up like this. If you go back and watch the old videos, you can see it. I did it before I was taking videos, but you can see some of the older pictures that I have you know the before pictures I might even slip one on here in here if I remember it but it was like that so I got it down but I always just had this cloud of foliage out here and I never have been able to get anything to, to bud any further and I was kind of guy wiring this up and kind of realized how tall the top was here a little bit of a look at that's where I originally did the wedge cut I did it underneath pulled it down made a big scar there it's kind of got a little little aerial root poking out of there, just kind of healing up a little. But I've just decided that it's, it's time to do, I think, there we are back out where you guys can see. And I think it's time to do something a little more drastic with it and, you know, just have to take a chance. I think it'll work out. As well, I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do here. This is actually a, a trident and this longer piece is kind of preventing me from really guy wiring it down all that well. And then after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy here right at that scar there. And then, let's see, get the guy wires back on here. And see where it'll go from there. It gives, 
gives a little bit shorter arms up top here and that's you know how a tree should be lower longer limbs and shorter on the way up and hopefully with that with me pruning back aggressively on the apex hopefully this branch is thick enough where it'll carry some life and just come back if not I might have a lot of rethinking to do on starting over here but we'll see what happens